last normal thing I did. Yeah. We get to stay with Priscilla tonight. We got hot showers. Got showers. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> and we're gonna go have dinner at uh, Justin and Amanda's Brewery. Famous spot from last time. All around a very nostalgic evening. What is a healthy relationship? You know, does it feel good and is it fun for you? And if it's not, then you don't have to eat the cheese. Like, that sort of stuff. I want them to do an adult class every day because I don't know all this stuff. And I'm perfect. And just have that here together. So, um, anyway. We're in Bear Creek, which has a population of what, like 20 people? There's literally like seven buildings here, and one of them is a dispensary. I realized I can't stop. Oh. Oh. Oh no. You get that? Are you tossing a knife? Yeah, they caught it. Wow. No, I didn't get it, but I believe you. You look very Unabomber, Stella. Thank you. Thank you, I think. Front looks so good, Galen. What are you doing, babe? I'm just screwy. Screws. Oh, nice. Into the roof. How's it going in there? It's going well. My phase three spear is coming together. Ground out of an old rusty hoe head that we found in the junk pile. I found this uh, standard broken tool handle. So I will fix the two in time. This wall is made of many, many layers of lath and plaster, many layers of insulating foam, tires, cans, bottles, a lot of other shit. Uh, what I'm doing right now is trying to ease the transition of the overhang by creating this little lath and foam feature. And I'm now smushing a semi-soft mortar into the hollow spaces to fill all the gaps. And then I'll plaster over the top of it with a wetter, smoother mix. Many, many times. Aton's doing the same thing over there. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. It's gonna blend right in. It's gonna look fucking great. 
Yeah. First door going in. Does this mean it's a real house now, Dan? phase three spear. Um, I made a spear last year during phase one, so I made one again this year. This time it is made out of a broken garden hoe that we got out of the junk pile. The handle and head were separate and the head already had a split socket, so I just whittled the uh, handle down until I could fit it in the head, put tons and tons of Gorilla Glue in there, wrapped it in construction twine and put a screw through it as a pin. And I'm donating this one to Beans Ninja Academy. some work to do. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's dead. we can get done today. I think we're all a little bit, you know, but the front looks great. Subterranean Palace. The butt cheek of the house. We're still getting there. See the gradual slope. It used to be a, like an eight inch overhang. There's a gradual slope back into the wall of the house. 
once the mortar dries, it'll blend in. Savannah's four bin trash system is done. Savannah has already left and headed home. I already miss her. But here we've got cans, which we use in the construction. Glass bottles, which we also use in the construction. We've got cardboard, which we can recycle or use as fire kindling. Most of this is probably going to the recycling system. And then here is everything else. That's just landfill trash. This thing is made out of all kinds of mesh and chicken wire. It's made entirely of scrap materials from the Earthship build. There's nothing new has been purchased for this. And it keeps the wind from blowing our trash away, keeps the dogs from digging through it. Kind of helps keep this campsite just a little bit more organized. Thank you, Savannah.